Hello friends, here I am from Infinitio KGEC and today we will discuss about a very interesting mathematical puzzle called Ant on a Rubber Rope. The details of the puzzle can vary but the typical form is as follows. Let's assume that this is our 20 cm long rubber rope and this is our cute little ant named Orgurupa. Now, Orgurupa needs to get to the end of this rope. If she moves with 5 cm per second velocity, she will definitely get there in just 1, 2, 3 and 4 seconds. Okay, no paradox there. But what if as the ant walks 5 cm per second, I want to make her life more complicated by stretching the rope 10 cm in every second? Then can Orgrupa ever reach to the end of the rope? Now you may think this is unreachable for our little Orgho. By increasing the length of the rope where Orgrupa is walking on, we are somehow cancelling out the progress that she has already made. But as we go on to prove, Orgrupa definitely cannot and will not be stopped by us. Now see, I said before, Orgrupa will move at 5 cm per second and the rope is 20 cm long and it starts to stretch uniformly at a constant rate of 10 cm per second. I will be doing this in 1 second snapshots. At 0 second, she starts walking and after 1 second, she is 5 cm towards her goal. After this stretch, the rope is now 30 cm long. And look, our little orco is no longer at 5 cm because a pivotal point to this entire puzzle is that our ant is on the rope and she stretches along with the rope. Now, after 1 second, orco moves another 5 cm and now we stretch the rope to 40 cm. Orgo moves another 5, 50 cm, another 5 cm, 60 cm and another 5 and 70 cm. Now you can notice that despite stretching the rope much more than she covers, each second Orgo is making progress towards her goal. Why this is happening? You may think. So the crucial point to this mathematical puzzle is that the rope also stretches behind the ant adding to her overall movement. Even though it may appear that her goal is getting further away from her after every second, she is making fractional progress towards her goal. Thus Orgrupa will eventually get to the end of the rope. Now with 20 cm long rope and 10 cm per second stretch really isn't much of a paradox either, right? But what if we stretch the rope to 1 km long and Orgurupa moves only at 1 cm per second velocity? And we stretch the rubber rope 1 km per second? So after 1 second, it's 2 km long. After 2 seconds, it's 3 km long and so on. Then will Orgo ever reach to the end of the rope and fulfill her ultimate ambitions? I don't think this is gonna work. It doesn't seem like this, na? How could she ever reach to the end of the rope? If I am increasing the distance, she needs to travel by more than her progress. You can pause the video right now and give it a try. Now, you may think, this is impossible for our little Orgo. But we can prove that she will surely make it to the end of the rope with the help of our friend Calculus. And there is our paradox. Okay, let's ponder over that too. In order to demonstrate that, we have to think about this paradox fractionally instead of in terms of total distance, let's assume that Orgrupa has travelled it across half of the rope, but then 
she decides to take rest. While Orgo is resting, the rope still continues to stretch. Now, we can see that Orgo's overall position does not change in a fractional sense. She started at the halfway point and even though all the points of the rope stretch, she will remain at the halfway point. Because of this, every step that she takes will decrease her fractional progress gradually but she will never stop making progress towards her goal. Now, to truly prove that Orko can definitely succeed, let's assume that L is equal to the initial length of the rope. V rope is equal to the amount the rope stretches in every second. V and is the end movement in every second towards the end of the rope. Now, watch closely. After one second, our cute Orgo moves V and unit and now the rope length is original length L plus the amount that the rope was stretched that is V rope. After another second, Orgo moves another V and unit and the rope length is L plus 2 V rope. The pattern continues for every second. We can represent it as the fraction that Orko has traveled in every second divided by the current rope length, that is B and divided by L plus V rope. We can sum these fractions together to get the total distance that Orko has traveled over the total distance of the rope. We can replace the time portion of the equation with the variable t and continue to add the fractions together. The big question is, will the fractions ever add together to equal 1, meaning that Orko has made it to the end of the row. Obviously not, or definitely yes. We can prove this by using comparison test and compare our equation to the harmonic series, a series whose behavior is known to us. At first, we need to adjust our equation a little bit. We start by multiplying the L by T in the denominator. We can do this because for all values of T that are whole and positive numbers, the new equation will either be equal to or less than the original function. We can now pull T out of the equation giving us V and over L plus V rope multiplied by 1 over T. When we create a series using this new formula 1 over T, we get an equation that almost exactly resembles the harmonic series. We can now use the comparison test. We know that the harmonic series diverges and that eventually the series will equal to 1. Therefore, due to the comparison test, our equation also diverges and will be eventually equal to 1. Meaning, Orko will make it to the end of the rope and fulfill her ambitions. Now, let's move forward to the differential solution to the problem. It's a very simple differential equation. So, see, the ant is moving towards this direction. Now, we have assumed that the ant has traveled its distance from the wall. Okay? So, V ant is the ant velocity which is equal to, you know, 1 cm per second. Here, we have converted it to kilometer, that is 10 to the power minus 5 kilometer. L is the initial rope length, that is 1 km. Here, V rope is the amount the rope stretches in every second, which is 1 km per second. Total length of this super elastic rope at any time will be equal to L plus V and into T km. Here, L is equal to 1 km and V rope is equal to 1 km per second. So, it will become 1 plus t kilometer. Velocity of the end point of the rope is equal to 
वन किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड वेलोसिटी ऑफ द फिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ द रोप इज इक्वल टू जीरो किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट मूविंग एट ऑल नाउ यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ द फ्री एंड इज मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी वन किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड द फिक्सड एंड मूविंग विद जीरो किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड देन द ऑल पॉइंट ऑन द रोप मस्ट मूव विद डिफरेंट वेलोसिटीज ओके because this end is stretching with highest velocity and the points behind it are having lower velocities so using linear relationship at 1 plus t distance of the rope the velocity is 1 km per second right so at x km the velocity will be 1 over 1 plus t multiplied by x so the velocity dx by dt equal to v and plus x over 1 plus t so dx by dt minus x over 1 plus t is equal to v and and this is our one number equation therefore the integration factor for this differential equation is e to the power integration minus 1 over 1 plus t dt and this will be equal to 1 by 1 plus t after multiplying this one number equation with the integration factor we get this one and after solving this differential equation we get the time t is equal to e to the power 10 to the power 5 minus 1 so our end will reach the end of the rope after e to the power 10 to the power 5 minus 1 years that is approximately 8.9 into 10 to the power 4 3 4 2 1 years to put that number in perspective you may consider our universe which is about 1.38 into 10 to the power 10 years old so the theoretical answer is longer than the age of the universe 8.9 into 10 to the power 43421 years are 2.9 into 10 to the power 43420 times longer than the oldest ant ever lived which is 30 years only actually the ant on a rubber rope is a vertical paradox so the problem ends up being life says no and math says yes situation a real world rubber rope can't be stretched to 2.8 into 10 to the power 43429 kilometers and more notably our ant orgo doesn't live forever however with the remarkable touch of our friend calculus no matter what the constant stretching velocity of the rope and velocity and the rope length is that time will be finite and our little ant orgrupa will definitely be successful that's why my friend in your life keep moving forward and one day you will surely achieve your goal thanks for watching